Make sure you stand till the end. People make a common mistake that can cost you thousands of dollars, so we'll share what it is. Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be a super helpful video to any of you having a Hyundai Kia guys, any of those with GDI engines. Stay with us, we'll explain what can easily cause engine light on and any of the following four codes. I'm talking about code P0301, 302, 303 or 304. Stay with us, we'll explain what it is. And one simple thing in some cases that can cause that and most people will not think about that. All that will be shared in this video today. Before we start, let me just tell you a little bit about us. Every single car we get at the garage we try to make at least two to three hundred free repair videos why simply because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can all we need in return please subscribe to the channel like the video that way we can keep providing this free information to you now if you need to buy tools parts to fix your Kia or Hyundai vehicle check out the link in the description of the video below that's where we get all our tools and supplies from with that being said this is a GDI engine that we'll be demonstrating on 2.4 GDI right here now Many of you have been asking us lately in the comment section below to share information about the scanner that we use and what we recommend. So we decided to do that. This is the scanner guys. I'll put the link in the description of the video below where you can get it from. It works on almost any car you can think of but you can see Hyundai key is right here. It's a great tool that can pay itself off in one time use. So check it out if you're on the market for one. So if you have any of these codes what it means. Any of these codes means cylinder misfire. 301 means cylinder number one misfire. You start from the very left of the engine where the serpentine belt is and that's cylinder number one. Or if you look at the intake manifold here, 302 means cylinder number two has misfire. 303 means cylinder number three and 304 cylinder number four. What can cause that? Number one thing guys, <coughs> spark plugs. If your spark plugs are worn, okay, the gap is not correct. It's too big or too small. Usually when they wear out, the gap will become bigger or if they're faulty that can cause misfires now we have a special video about spark plug replacement and actually about uh, about the gap of the spark plugs how to set the gap and all that stuff will be on our channel number two guys okay it could be the wrong type of spark plug let's say the spark plug is not made for your car and somebody installed the wrong spark plugs or in some cases a, a, a different brand of spark plugs sometimes that can cause that problem as well so you will need to make sure okay that you use original spark plugs so i'll recommend okay to get good quality plugs i'll put the link where you can get them from another thing guys it could be bad ignition coil or ignition coil not communicating with the spark plug uh, that could be uh, by actually broken element on the bottom of the ignition coil because if the electronics of the ignition coil goes bad most of the times it will actually call, uh, cause a code such as code 351 352 353 or 354 respectively with the cylinder number but at first it might just trigger a code for misfire when they go bad that can happen easily as well Number four, make sure that the ignition codes are uh, connected, they are installed correctly because if they are not, that can easily cause misfire as well. Number five guys, something that most people never think about, check for engine oil around the spark plug in the hole there. If you have engine oil, that means you have a bad gasket right here, bad um, valve cover gasket and you're sipping oil between the uh, uh, cylinder head and the valve cover it gets in the spark plug and that can cause misfire as well in some cases you may have water there let's say you washed your engine or you bought the vehicle we used the dealership washed the engine uh, sometimes uh, water will make its way in the spark plug and when it heats up okay when it gets hot it will evaporate and that can affect the misfire as well so uh, you can get uh, misfire code as well number six guys okay it could be something completely out of there it could be a dirty fuel injector if you have a dirty fuel injector it may not be spraying enough fuel or not be spraying fuel at all and that can cause misfire in some cases it could be caused by a faulty fuel injector as well another thing number seven it could be guys okay problems with the fuel delivery system under high rpms or accelerating it could be dirty fuel filter weak fuel pump in the fuel tank you have one fuel pump in the fuel tank that brings fuel to the gdi pump the direct fuel injection pump and the fuel the direct fuel injection pump will uh, build more pressure and deliver it to the fuel rail so weak fuel pump in the fuel tank dirty fuel filter weak in some cases high pressure pump can cause misfires as well also 
if it's just on one certain cylinder, not on multiple cylinders, guys, okay, it's easier to diagnose because most likely it's bad injector, it's most likely bad spark plug, ignition coil, or something contaminated in the spark plug hole. If they're just changing numbers, guys, you have different codes all the time, it could indicate vacuum leak. We have a special video that explains vacuum leak. It could be such as cracked vacuum line anywhere, leaking intake manifold gasket, loose intake holes as well. Uh, now, on the back side of your engine, on the exhaust side, the first sensor that you have on the exhaust is known as an upstream oxygen sensor or uh, bank one sensor, one oxygen sensor, O2 sensor. It detects if you have richer fuel, uh, rich or lean fuel mixture, and if it's not working correctly, it can trigger the computer to actually, for your engine not to spray enough fuel or spray too much fuel, which can lead to, okay, misfires as well. And uh, another thing that we see sometimes on higher mileage vehicles, that's your catalytic converter, if it's plugged up, if your catalytic converter is plugged up, okay, that can cause misfires as well. Now, hopefully guys, uh, the video will be helpful, those are the most common 10 things that we see here at the shop that will cause misfire. If you have any questions, let us know. Thank you for watching and see you guys next time.